lining up the star sense. I say this one's done. Hey everyone, John Reed here from Learn to Stargaze and author of the Things to See with a Telescope series, including the bestseller 50 Things to See with a Telescope Kids and the new book 110 Things to See with a Telescope. So I had an interesting request from the comment section here on YouTube. Someone asked me, can the star sense be pulled off this telescope and used on any other telescope? Well, we're about to find out. This is Learn to Stargaze. First, what is StarSense? StarSense uses a cell phone and a cleverly placed mirror to tell the telescope exactly where it's pointed by constantly taking pictures of the stars. To find objects in the sky, you tell the app what objects you'd like to see and the app shows you which way to push the telescope. As you get closer to your target, the telescope takes more photos and helps you position the telescope precisely over your target. Now, if I can attach this star sense to this Dobsonian and get it to accurately find targets, that will turn this into a push to go to system. All right, let's get started. Where do we put it? I think we should remove this finder scope and put the star sense right in its place. the last two long bolts in the toolbox. Have a moment of truth. That's it, we're done. All right, now that we have the StarSense system installed on this Dobsonian, we're gonna take it outside the city and see how fast we can find objects in the night sky. Wait, there's a snowstorm tonight? Well, that will definitely cause some delays. All right, here we are outside of town, outside of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and with me, I have a very special person. This is Tiffany Fields, astrophysicist from SMU. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Tiffany, astrophysicist from SMU. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna have a little challenge. It is winter, and we are gonna use 110 things to see with a telescope. This book has 15 targets listed in winter, and we're gonna have a race. We're gonna see who can observe these 15 targets first. I have got the star sense connected to a Dobsonian. Tiffany has an astrophotography telescope connected to an astrophotography camera, connected to an ASI Air, which will allow her to take images with the iPad. Here's the rules. I have to observe the targets and sketch them in 110 things to see with a telescope in the designated spot. You have to take one minute exposures of each target and at least make a little check mark in the book to show that you've done it. So are you ready? I think I've got you beat. I don't know, let's find out. So the winner targets start on page 44 in the book. Are you ready? I'm ready. On your mark, get set, go. All right, so my first target, M45. You're gonna start with, we're going in order, right? You'll start with M40, 45 as well. No, I'm gonna start with the one that I'm already at, Ooh. John. <laughs> oh, I like your strategy. You're using your astrophysicist smarts. So I'm gonna start sketching here. Uh, I'm doing a meridian flip. Ah. That's gonna cost me some time. Are you taking your first exposure yet? Uh, second one, because I was already on the first oh, one. Oh, you're on two. All right, I am hopping down M79. Oh, that is low on the sky. Oh, that's pretty dim, but I've got it. Okay. Now we're gonna take the image. I'm remembering to use my vertivision. It's definitely making a difference, especially with the light pollution. Oh, shoot, another meridian clip. Ah, gosh. Catch up. <laughs> Tiffany, you should look can at look? this. You can, you can, you can look. I'm gonna spare some of my time. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That's such a big field of view, too. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. See, now I'm waiting for my telescope to uh, center itself. Hit the button. And now we wait. I'm gonna say this one's done. M78 is next. Are we at the same target? I'm, I'm about to go to M78. So this is 
This is the gimme, because it, it's hard to see in light polluted skies. Lining up the star sense, finding telescope position. Okay, it says I'm on it. I think I've got it. That's a spooky sound. Yeah, what was that? These darn meridian flips. <laughs> I mean, you should have used your astrophysicsness and <laughs> looked at the map and created an order that did not cross the meridian. I'm falling behind. Going to the Crab Nebula. Okay, but if I do that, then you're gonna speed ahead, John. If you adjust the histogram? No, it just takes a second. Or am I just giving you things to slow you down? You're gonna race ahead of me here. How are your hands feeling, John? Oh, they're pretty cold. Yeah, yeah, I bet. It's cool though. I think after having done a lot of ASI air and having done a lot of visual astronomy, at the end of the night, you're happier having done visual astronomy. Yeah, it's a little bit more satisfying. Yeah. Winter Alberio. Winter like Alberio. Is that cool? That's excellent. It's like exactly Alberio. It's, I love it. The winter butterfly cluster. Uh-oh. 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 I was worried I was behind the, uh, the wall there. So that was 50. I'm gonna mark it down with my frozen fingers. I'm so close. M48 is my last winner target. Oh, I think yeah. I won. Did you win? I think I'm on the last target though. I I am done with the last target. Did you remember? So, to, did you remember to image your first target? Oh shoot. No, I didn't. Ah. Probably gonna have to do a meridian flip. Look at that. Flipping. Okay, and I'm here, I'm drawing my last target. See, I, this is just a technicality. <laughs> I might still beat you. Just depends now how much detail I wanna, I wanna put in here. <laughs> Beauty, what a good one to end on. Let's see. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, that's great. It's nice. <laughs> All right, how about that? That, that was, was, that was a cold one. That was cool, but that was, <laughs> we were like neck and neck the whole time. I, I can't believe it. I thought that I was going to be way ahead. Yeah, that was, it was neat. It was neat to see that the, the star sense was able to pick out uh, every target and get me, you know, close enough to be able to find him. And you had no technical issues. It was perfect. Which is amazing. Um, you know, with I, astrophotography rig that's got that much going on. So would you do this again or wait till it gets warmer? Um, just a few degrees warmer, just but few. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 10 out here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video on the StarSense system connected to a Dobsonian telescope. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. If you have any of my books, leave a note in the comments. I'd love to hear from my readers. And remember, the future is looking up. <laughs>